Supernatural Peace Reading from Scripture John chapter 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you My peace I give to you Not as the world gives do I give to you Let not your heart be troubled Neither let it be afraid In a world that is wrought with disarray Confusion and pain Fear and unrest is everywhere In the midst of this People look for peace from every suffering and affliction and pain. Peace as seen in the world is usually reduced to an absence of conflict or to an absence of trouble or being stress-free. It's only the absence of trouble and pain. But peace in the Bible is described differently. It is unrelated to circumstances. It is a goodness of life that is not touched by what happens on the outside. The word peace comes mainly from two specific Greek words in the Bible, meaning shalom and erene. Shalom meaning a sense of total, complete fulfillment and wholeness. And erene is used to mean a state of quietness and rest and is often described to mean Jesus' peace that leads to salvation. The most definitive statement of peace is given in our scripture verse today. Jesus says that he gives us his peace, which is not as the world gives. It's fascinating to see that Jesus talks about this and presents this his peace to his disciples just before the most distressing moment of his life which was the execution on the cross. Yet through this, he offers a peace which will put an end to the troubled hearts of the disciples. It is his supernatural peace that he offers and that only belongs to those who are in Christ Jesus. So this verse describes three things. So let's look closely at the verse and it talks about the nature of peace or the kind of peace that Jesus gives. Jesus says in the verse, he says, peace I leave with you. Now this is a gift, it is a deposit that he leaves with the disciples. Notice that he does not ask that we seek this peace or find it, but instead he says he leaves us with this peace, something he has freely given to each of us to possess. This is also made available to all who follow him and love him and serve him. The second thing we see in, the, in this verse is the source of peace. It's written, my peace I give to you. He describes the source of this peace, which is his peace, which says it's divine, it's supernatural, it comes from God. Now God the Father has been declared as the God of peace or the Lord of peace. In most of the letters, Paul extends a greeting that talks about the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit is peace. So thus with the presence of the triune God in the life of the believer comes divine peace. The last thing is the transcending peace. It says, not as the world gives do I give you. This peace from God is not found in the human realm. It transcends all that the world can offer. What we as believers have access to is a peace that isn't found in the world, but it is by the supernatural work and the power of God. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for the assurance that you have given us. Thank you because it is your peace that you have given unto us. Thank you, Father, because you are the source of all peace, the peace that transcends and surpasses all human understanding. Thank you because we can stay complete in the knowledge that no matter what happens in us, we have access to the supernatural peace. We praise you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.